how to deploy Python projects online. Okay, so can be Django project, Flask or Streamlit project. Okay, so na project yangu ya Python hii hapa ipo kwenye local computer. Hii ni project complete website yote inaweza kwa Python. Okay. So kuna steps za kufuata. So step number one. So kwenye hiyo project generate requirements.txt. So hii step ina involve hiyo project inaweza kawa ni Django au ya Flask. Lakini kwenye video hii tunaona nani wa upload Streamlit project online. So step hii namba moja ina involve zote mbili pamoja na hii hii step ya kwanza. So generate requirements. What is requirements.txt? So project yangu ni hii. Ipo kwenye directory inaitwa my project then project ambayo hii. So ndani ya project hapa kwenye hii root project nitaje kuja kwenye hii hapa address bar ya folder. Sasa nitaje kuandika cmd kwa ajili ya kufungua command prompt. Okay? So hapa nitaje kutengeneza requirements.txt. Requirements ni file ambayo itakuwa na library zote za Python zilizotumika kutengeneza project. Okay? So nitaandika command inaitwa pip then uh then pip so people space then freeze okay then space then greater than then file names requirements so requirements okay then dot file extension dot txt okay so after clicking here to the file is not created here then click enter to execute so requirements dot txt is here to be created okay so double click so kidabo click to kutana na hizi library zote. So kuna baadhi ya library ni useful, nyingine ni unused. Kwa hiyo inachokifanya ina install library zote zitumia. Hata kama kuna nyingine umezitumia kwenye project ambayo sio hii zitakuja huko kwenye ile file. So cha kuangalia na kuzi delete library zote ambazo kwenye project hazijatumika. For example, Django. Mimi natumia Streamlight. Situmi Django, kwa hiyo library nilitumiaga zamani, kwa hapa inakuwa ina kazi. So naacha zile library ambazo umezitumia kwenye project tu. Okay, so hizi zote na delete, okay? So Jinja sijaitumia na hizi nyingine sijaitumia, okay? Job lead sijaitumia na Keras sijaitumia, okay? So of course una delete zote, unaacha hizi streamlight, okay? Of course ni hapa zinaanzia hapa kwenye streamlight, kwenye pandas. So pandas hii hapa we just una left. Pandas hii nimeitumia na streamlight, okay? So na delete zile ambazo sijaitumia kwenye project. Kwa utafilita, mpaka mimi nimepata hizi ambazo ndo kwenye project, nimezitumia. Okay? After zeni, nita save changes kwa sababu nimi edit hivyo file. Kwa hivyo, nita kwa hivyo na mna hii. Okay? So after freezing now, step inofata ni ku-upload project kwenye GitHub. Ku-upload project kwenye GitHub. So, nita kuji hapa kwenye account ya GitHub. By then, nita create a new, a new directory as well. New directory. Okay? So ndakuja hapa nita kliki new New repository Naza nga sema new repository okay So kliki new repository So repository name will be my project For example 2023 or any Okay After then now nakuja kushagua now is public Okay so na check add readme file okay After then create a repository So repository imesha kuwa created now. Now nipo kwenye position ya upload file na hapa ngoja kutani empty. Hakuna folder yoyote kwa uploaded au file. Kwa nakuja kwenye my project, okay? My project ndo hii. Ninachokifanya na select all files. Isipokuwa hili hapa just na exclude. Okay? After then nakuja kwa upload hapa na click na ku draw. Hapo nitakuwa nime just ku upload. So nasubiri a moment kipindi ina upload my file, okay? Okay, so mafali isha kuwa uploaded, okay, so nakuja kwenye za hapa commit changes, okay, so ina process files, okay, for me, na hii main.py, ko na irename, so neza kawawe project yako, umeka home.py, for example, ila mina sumeka kama main.py, so na edit hii kilogo, ili sijika neti ya shida, so na just kuklik, okay, so after clicking now, where is, uh, editing na kuja hapa na kunyeza edit this file okay so main.py na remove this icon ili icon na remove then na commit changes okay and then commit okay so now kinachofata sasa ni kija 
we deploy application kwenye what streamlet hapa so mta access he web address inaitwa share streamlet.io for so just nikiki copy okay so just kufungua a notepad so mta access e address okay so e address natumika kwa ajili ya ku deploy uh, streamlet web okay ku deploy okay so just i open ambao hii so mta continue with what github okay so just click okay so now it open a github account so current itangalia existing account my account so nimesha log in of course kwenye github lakini kwa hiyo ile just kufuat process za ku authenticate okay so create a new app from existing repository or from a sample template so just click new app okay after clicking new app now <coughs> so now repository so we can paste github url lakini si now just click hapo click click hapo tuna our project is project 2023 okay ambao project 2023 ni hapa 2023 okay hapo ni click na kuja hapo kwenye hii repository okay okay so now just uh select my project then launch here. launch is file so hapa the file does not exist sababu launcher here ni main.py ambao uh, ni mere name no longer lakini ni main.py so copy launch launch ni kama vile index.html or home.html yani ile page ya kwanza kuwa opened ndio inaitwa ni launch okay so ndakuja hapa just kuja kui, kui paste this is my launcher main.py okay after then i click deploy okay so after clicking deploy now I wait a moment keep in the uh, stream right web hosting in a just ku build project so your app is in hoven so just okay your app is in hoven and wait a moment i just take 2 minutes for the complete task okay so now app yangu imefunguka kama hivi okay okay <coughs> so uh unaweza kuja kufanya changes kwenye a uh, project ukija kwenye project hapa na project yetu ndo hii unaweza kuja kufanya changes so unaona kuna requirements dot txt and so on so uh nikifungua hii app main dot py for example so open main dot py okay so chochote ndicho kifanya huku change si order ndio kuifanya huku ita take place hapa okay so suppose now una click here hapo uh, expand so na kuja ku remove ku edit code okay so suppose na delete hichi kipande chini okay so suppose na delete hichi kipande okay so kwanza na click hapa edit ili niweze ku edit edit file edit file so nikisha click hapo ndo unaweza kuja kufanya changes yote so suppose naondoa hichi kipande hichi kipande chote so uh, just remove okay nimekiondoa nikisha kiondoa na commit changes niloifanya hapa ngoja kunyeza chini huku kwa ajili ya ku commit changes okay hapo sorry hapo commit changes okay so now commit so ni commit changes nikija hapa it apply automatically utaona nabadilika umeona nabadilika so chochote nikifanya huku huku kina take place faster hiyo inaitwa ni hot reload hot reload maana yake just naandika code na ina refresh yenyewe automatic ndio maana hot reload okay so now select my columns okay so hivyo ndivyo ambavyo unaweza uka host project online na ukifuta hii directory hii page na kwa tena hypo okay 